Some people would say that uh, Americans are not reading like they used to read. Uh, what do you think about the changing habits of readers in, in 2011? Changing habits? Of readers. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I think readers are born. You either are a reader or you're not a reader, and that can change, but I think it's uh, Americans, uh, I don't think as a whole are readers, perhaps like Europeans. I don't know much about that, but that's what I read. And so uh, uh, changing people is hard in any area, and to make better readers out of them, uh, I, I don't know how to go about that. All I know is write the books and go to places like this and encourage people to read. Many of those who are reading are reading on these electronic readers like the Nook or the Kindle. What do you think about the uh, changing uh, habits of readers who don't read the pages but read with a computer or some kind of electronic device? Some people love machines and some people hate them. Those that hate them, like me, they want the book where they can turn the page down and they'll go back and read the book again and you've made notes and books become old friends that I wouldn't have that sense of friendliness on a machine. But others, and especially young people, you know how they like iPods and anything electronic, they will buy the things and they'll learn to use them. So there'll always be uh, both kinds of readers, I think. Uh, I'm writing, uh, in just starting a series of books about the American Revolution in which I want to show the unsung heroes, people that most, most Americans don't, ever, don't even know about. Like you mentioned, give them a list of, of people like uh, uh, Henry Knox, who is he? Well, most people don't know, but he was Washington's favorite general and he was one that managed to take Boston by going to Fort Ticonderoga and getting the guns, cannons, to take Boston, which was probably one of, Washington only won two battles in the whole war, and that was one of them, and really Henry Knox won that one. So uh, I want to do this on a, high, on a junior high level, and, and aim uh, at least partially to the homeschool market where kids can get the real story of the revolution. Dr. Gilbert Morris, thank you so much for your time today. It's so good to be with you. Glad to, be, glad to, glad to talk with you. <laughs>